So check this out guys, we are back on the main village inside of COC and yes my friends, your eyes do not deceive you. That is the brand new geared up Archer Tower, looks pretty damn awesome. So what's about to go down? I am doing a collaboration with my YouTube friend Jasu and we are pretty much going to be taking on his troll base. So the mission, if I choose to accept it, is to attack this troll base he built about 24 hours ago. I have to spawn my entire army on the arrow. We've got to take down all these buildings, pass all of these defenses, and eventually try to reach and take out the brand new geared up Archer Tower. Are we going to be able to do it? I don't really know, guys, but we're going to give it a best shot. So stay tuned. We're about to get ourselves into the live action. So a quick announcement just before the actual episode starts, guys. I am giving away a $25 gift card to one person who comes up with the best name for this base. If you want the chance to win iTunes or Android, let me know down below in that comment section, what would you call this base? The best name will win a $25 gift card. And announcement number two, this is, as I said, a collaboration with my YouTube friend Jasu. Jasu has been my oldest friend on YouTube, guys, and he's got over 150,000 subs. So what we're going to do, we're each going to give away an extra $25 gift card. If you want the chance to win it, all you need to do, click the link below, click enter, subscribe to Jasu's channel, and you could win another $25, guys. So please make sure you check out his channel, click the link below, click enter. Good luck to every single one of you. So we're going to start this off in an interesting way. Yesterday, we actually gemmed to max level those brand new level 6 Pekkas. So why don't we try and take on Jasu's base using an entire Pekka army? Now, the only rules are we're not allowed to use wall breakers, earthquake spells, or jump spells. We are allowed to use any troops and any other spells. So no earthquakes, no wall breakers, and no jumps. So let's do this. Let's go with an entire Pekka army. I don't know if we're going to do a good job here, guys. We're going to fill the rest of the spaces with... um. Let's go with archers. We may as well. So it's going to be pretty fun. We're going to use a single free spell, three, maybe four rage spells, and a poison, just in case he's got a defending CC, guys. So we're about to get ourselves into the first live attack. Wish me luck. Drop a like on the episode if you do love these troll bases, guys. 10,000 likes on this video, and I will gear up my own archer tower inside of the next episode. If you want to see that, if you want to see me gear it up, drop a like on the episode. 10,000 likes, and we'll do it. So here we go, first live attack, this is going to be P.E.K.K.A. Warfare. So the plan, as I said, the mission, if my beautiful P.E.K.K.A.s choose to accept it, is to take out the Archer Tower. Can we even make it close? I don't really know, guys. The only rule, no earthquakes, no jumps, no, uh, no wall breakers, and we have to spawn all of our troops here, guys. So let's just try a mass P.E.K.K.A. spam to begin and see how it goes. So we got some P.E.K.K.A.s going down the left, a couple of P.E.K.K.A.s going down the right. And we're going to drop in some archers just behind as well, just to clear any extra buildings. So we're going to pop the uh, the Barbarian King's ability nice and early. I think we just lost a couple of troops there, guys, but that's all good in the hood. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, and we're going to drop a Poison spell down on that defending Archer Queen. Sorry, that defending uh, Clan Castle, guys. So here we go. Another Rage spell goes down. Let's see what these level 7 Pekkas, sorry, level 6 Pekkas are actually made of. We're going to drop in the final two as well. If we can three-star Jasu's base, that would be pretty damn hilarious, guys. But here we go. Rage Bell going to go down on the left-hand side. Let's all keep a very close eye on this uh, this Archer Tower. Check this out, guys. We're going to break through. We're going to drop a free spell on the Archer Tower and try and take it out, guys. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to go down. Are we going to get it? There it goes. First attempt, and we got the Archer Tower down. Can we triple-star Jasu's base? Let's find out. Obviously, he is only a Town Hall level 10, guys, so it may be a little bit easy for us, and uh, we may have to bend the rules slightly in the next couple of attacks. What we're going to do, after this raid is over, we're actually going to go ahead and gem up maybe some miners, maybe those brand new level 5 miners. I think we're going to do a gem spree, gem them to max level, and get ourselves into a second live attack, but it appears these level 6 peckers are pretty OP. Can we get a 3-star? I don't really know, guys. It's going to be a close one. Let's find out. The final Pekka is currently going down, and he's got that double kid Ganon at the back. That is unbelievably OP. We're going to pop the Queen's ability. Let's find out if we can triple-star Jasu's base, guys. The geared cannon going to get taken out, and it stands as a single Tesla tower tries to defend, but it gets wiped out, and a triple-star's in the bag. Okay, hold up a second, guys. We're going to delete all of these Pekkas, and we're going to try a different army this time. So, let's do this. Let's train up some troops. Let's bring ourselves these new miners. 
Let's actually... Oh, we, we have no elixir. Okay, hold up, hold up. Into the shop we go. Into the treasury. And we're going to get ourselves 5 million elixir. Damn, that's expensive. But here we go. Let's now upgrade and uh, bring ourselves even more miners. So 48 level 4 miners. But they are about to get gemmed to level 5. So let's find this research center. Here we go. Miners. They're going to cost 9.5 million elixir. And we're going to gem them straight to level 5, guys. So there we go. Upgrade completed. Miners level 5. Let's go in for a second live attack, guys. Here we go. Let's do this. Level 5 miners. Gonna be pretty damn awesome. So we're gonna grab a screenshot if we want to use it for a thumbnail. And we're gonna be attacking from the bottom. So the arrow is there. Let's do this. Maybe this time we'll try no spells. I don't know. I don't know if these miners are great, but um I've kind of got a feeling they gotta wreck Jasu's base. So let's find out and see what happens. Let's do this, guys. They're gonna pretty much spread out all over the base. It should be pretty awesome. We're going to use the Barbarian King's ability and we're going to drop in the rest of the miners now. Let's just wait and see what happens. So, Double Rage Spell going to go down. We're going to use the Grand Warden's ability. Poison Spell going to go down on the defending CC. Let's see if these level 5 miners are going to bring themselves back into the meta. Or do they suck as much as they previously did. So the Baby Dragons just got exterminated. Still got two Rage Spells. Archer Queen's ability to use. And of course a free spell. So let's hover over the free spell and get ready to use it or we could save it for the inferno towers at the back i'm not really sure another rage spell is going to go down on the left hand side archer queen's kind of getting wrecked over there so we're going to pop the queen's ability just before she goes down guys she's going to help us take out those cannons and the miners slowly moving up into the base so let's drop that a rage spell right in the core check out this archer tower guys damn that fires incredibly quickly. And we just lost all our miners. Damn, okay, so these level 5 miners actually proving to be weaker than the uh, the level 6 peckers, guys. So that's kind of unfortunate. Level 6 peckers, more OP than an entire miner army. Still got a couple left alive, but it doesn't really look like they're going to get much further. So unfortunately, level 6 peckers are the most OP troop we've tried so far, guys. But we're going to try a couple of other combos and see what works. So, Archer Queen, she's going to go down just before taking out the Town Hall. Zero seconds remaining, and it was an 82% one star. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Let's try a different combo. We're going to keep some Miners, but we're actually going to delete about 20 of them. And we're going to replace them with Peckers. And we're also going to delete Rage Spells and replace them with Heal Spells. So, we need some, uh, we need some loot. There we go. We're going to bring three peckers. We do need heal spells also. We're going to bring three heal spells and the rest of the army. Let's just go back to extra miners, guys. So where are they? Miner, miner, miner. There we go. Ready to rumble. 33 miners, three peckers. This time we got heal spells, guys. Let's do this. So it's going to be a combo. Miners, Peckers, Hill Spells. Hill Spells are level 7. That is the new max level released by Supercell about a week and a half ago. Or a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember. But um, let's try it this time, guys. Here we go. There goes every single troop. We're, gonna, we're literally going to spam them. We got Hill Spells this time. So it should work a little bit better. Every single miner's down into the base. Going to use a Hill Spell really early. I don't really want to have to use the, um, the Rage Spell, guys. We're going to try and save that. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Gonna use the Barbarian King's ability. And I'm hoping we can take out this defending clan castle nice and quickly, guys. So, we've still got another heal spell. A couple of heal spells to use, actually. But we're gonna try and keep them and see if we can keep on going. So, the Barbarian King's gonna be dying shortly. We're not gonna use his ability, guys. We're just gonna keep on rampaging through this base and see if we can take it down. So, heal spell's gone down on the right-hand side, keeping the Peckers and, of course, the Miners up and alive. We got the Archer Queen going with a large squadron of Miners and Peckers on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, guys. It's looking pretty OP so far. So here we go. We're ready to use this Rage Spell. Let's drop it down over on the uh, left-hand side. Some of our Miners have actually entered into the center where the Town Hall is, guys. And the Geared Up Archer Tower has been executed. We've then got Miners going onto the Town Hall. They're getting picked off by some of the uh, the Expos guys, Tesla Towers, but it looks like we are too OP. Let's drop down a free spell, freeze the two Expos, and of course the Inferno Tower, and it looks like the entire army is now swarming the final few defenses inside of this base. Is there anywhere 
for these defenses to run to. I don't think so, guys. There goes the Expo. There goes the Inferno Tower. One Inferno Tower left. Sorry, one Expo left. And, of course, a Geared Cannon. But no match for our level 6 pack here. And he gets exterminated. Second victory. Jasu's base has been destroyed. Let's go in for a third. Sorry, a fourth attack. Let's, uh, let's switch the army up. So, what can we try now? Why don't we try... Why don't we try those new Hog Riders? I believe there are stories that they have been buffed. So, what we're going to do... We're going to keep the Packers because they're fun. They're glorious. But we're going to switch the entire Miner Army for uh, just Packers. Sorry, uh, uh, Hog Riders. 33 Hog Riders. Let's do another live attack, guys. Level 7 Hog Riders. They were buffed in the last update. So, we got 3 Packers. 33 Hogs. And the heroes. Barbarian King's going to go in first. I know we lose him quite early, guys. But he's definitely a great tank. So we may as well keep doing what we're doing now. We're going to wait and see how kind of far these Hog Riders go. I kind of want them to go in two different directions, guys. This is looking okay, I suppose. Going to pop the Grand Warden's ability really early. Heal Spell's going to go down. Poison Spell on the defending CC, guys. And the Inferno Tower is going to get exterminated really quickly. So it looks like these Hog Riders are doing a good job. We still got the heal spell ready to use as soon as we need it. A large pack of hogs off to the left hand side guys. And we also got a couple on the right. So let's drop down a heal spell on the right. Heal spell on the left. And keep these beautiful little piggies moving up through the base guys. It's going to be pretty damn insane. As soon as they reach the final few defenses. I'm guessing they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble. So there goes a rage spell. Oh no that bomb tower exterminated my entire pig army. We literally got melted. We melted in seconds, but check it out. Hog Riders have also exterminated all the defenses on the right-hand side. And once again, all that kind of remains is a final few buildings up the top, guys. So we're going to drop down a free spell on four defenses. And this P.E.K.K.A. is going to take out that final Tesla Tower standing between her and the little, uh, little compartment of defenses at the end. But she doesn't manage to take out the Expo, guys. We got the Archer Queen. Check that out, two of the Packers have gone back down the bottom, but they're going to return back up to the top of the base. By the time they get there, the Queen should have taken out the Town Hall, so this is going to be incredibly close. Can we grab these final 16% guys? Let's find out. It's closing in, the Queen is getting up there. She's now being targeted by a couple of defenses, but she should just about manage to survive guys. Here we go, there goes the Tesla Tower, gold storage going to go down. The Inferno Tower causing a problem for the Peckers, guys, but not for long. And the Archer Queen has taken out the Expo. She swings onto the Town Hall. This is going to be so damn incredibly close. And the Geared Cannon is all on its own. And another triple star in the bag. And that, my friends, is going to secure us a, uh, a fourth. What is that, a third victory? I think that's three wins. Not too shabby. Pretty damn decent indeed, guys. So let's do one final live attack. What should we try? Let's delete the Hog Riders. Why don't we delete the Peckers too? Let's delete the Hogs and the Peckers. And um, let's see. What can we use? We need more loot. Let's go back into the treasury, guys. We need to buy ourselves some Elixir. Kind of sad, but uh, 600 more gems on Elixir. There we go. More Elixir in the bag. So, one final army. We could try... What should we do? Let's do Bowlers, guys. I mean, Bowlers, they're pretty much the oldest troop in the game. I mean, they're kind of like... They're actually one of the newest, but they're kind of like, you know, the go-to troop. And uh, everyone seems to use them. So let's see if we can destroy this uh, this base using bowlers. 40 max level bowlers. BK, AQ, GW, and loads of bowlers, guys. Here we go. Bowler Warfare. Let's see if they can rock this base. So we got three hill spells to save them. And we've got a rage spell and a free spell. So we're going to drop down this free spell. Pretty early. There goes the Grand Warden's ability saving my poor little bowlers. Poison spell. Free spell. And of course a heal spell down in the center. Uh, my Barbarian King kind of died. I think I forgot to use his ability. But I'm not really too sure. Still got loads of bowlers though. They're pretty much going to spread out into the base now. And the question is. Can we keep the majority of them alive? By the time they reach the top of the base guys. So here we go. Let's find out. They're splitting into two different directions. That's cool. We actually need to try and keep these hill spells for the bomb towers. But this Archer Queen is causing a little bit of an issue, guys. Here we go. Check it out. They're going to slowly try and take out that Archer Tower. Check it out. That was so close. We almost got it. There goes the defending Archer Queen. Got these bowlers 
over on the right hand side who are now moving in on the uh, the actual wizard tower they've already taken out the bomb tower and we got a couple more bowlers on the other side as well we're going to try and keep them in the hill spell but unfortunately it was a little bit late let's drop down this rage spell guys this is going to be possibly the closest raid of them all can this archer queen take out the majority of these defenses on her own that is the question guys she's all on her own at the top there taking out the inferno tower two expos a tesla tower and of course some gold storages stand in her way. There goes the Queen's ability. She's up to 97%. There goes the double cannon. And she's done it. The glorious Archer Queen reigns supreme. So we are going to end this episode here, guys. Stay tuned. There will be another one coming shortly. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to Jasu. Let me know down below in that comment section, what would you call this base to win a $25 gift card? I'll see you soon, guys. Peace out.